Counter-Strike has produced some really great players over the years. We practically grew up playing this game which is almost two decades old now. That is why there are generations of Counter-Strike players. There are old school CS 1.3 players who are probably old and working jobs right now. And then there are new players who started playing CSGO and have probably never even seen CS 1.6. If there is one player that all the generations of CS remember, old and new, it is Neo. Philip Neo Kupski was born on 15th of June 1987 in Poznan, Poland. His father should probably be given the coolest dad award as he was the one who introduced Philip to Counter-Strike. Someone wrote this game and we start playing Counter-Strike. I was playing CS, my dad was playing CS and my sister started playing CS. When we start playing with our friends, he was the best. So he had a big talent for this. In early 2004, the players of Spectnaz and Aristocracy, two of the finest teams in Poland, combined forces to form Pentagram. Taz and Luke were members of Aristocracy, and along with those two, Neo, Kubin and Lord went on to become the most dominant Polish CS team. This team went on to win the 2004 and the 2005 World Cyber Games in Poland, along with several other tournaments. His first international success was when Pentagram won the Samsung European Championship in March 2005 in Hanover. Hanover. Against SK Gaming's Danish team. In 2006, he won the Polish World Cyber Games again for the third year in a row, and this time by beating Ninjas in Pajamas 2 1. We need to remember that Ninjas in Pajamas was also in their prime form at that time. So beating them was like beating the best team in the world. And that is when this team was given the title of the Golden Five, representing the finest that Poland had to offer. From being the best in their country to becoming a force to be reckoned with across the globe, it did not take Neo and his team a lot of time to strike fear into the hearts of their opponents. In 2007, Kupski and his team won the first ever Intel Extreme Masters tournament. And in the same year, they won the ESWC and the ENC as well. Following those achievements, he received two awards, the best esports player of the year and the best Counter-Strike player of the year. 2008 and 9 were turbulent for Neo in terms of organizations and money. It all started in December of 2007 when the Polish squad left Pentagram to join a famous esports organization, Meet Your Makers. Within a span of a year, they moved across multiple organizations. After about 15 months in MYM, they moved to Wicked and then to Vitriolic. During this phase from 2008 and 2009, there were times when they were either in between two organizations or had no financial backing and no funding at all. Even with nobody backing them up financially, Neo and his squad did not stop dominating the game. Despite all the issues, they still won the WEG E-Stars and WCG 2009. For the third consecutive year, the Esports Awards recognized Kupski as the best esports player of the year and HLTV titled him the Player of the Millennium. Neo was a super talented player. In fact, he was so good that people started to copy his playstyle in hopes of finding success. He was the one who made people realize that movement mechanics in CS could also be used to gain a competitive advantage. He was too good at strafing, making opponents miss their shots and then reposition so quickly that they could never see him coming. He used to literally fly around on train. On Nuke, he could get to spots that are difficult to get to in a matter of seconds. He was the one who invented the method of getting down from the nuke rafters without taking any damage. With so much talent, he pretty much shaped the meta of CS 1.6 to an extent and was recognized by his peers and his opponents as a beast. In February 2010, the Polish squad was recruited by frag executors. Luke retired and Pasha was brought in his place. They finished third in the 2010 WCG, but they won it next year. And they also won the Intel Extreme Masters Season 6 and the SEC. He spent the last few days of the CS 1.6 era in ESC 
before finally making the switch over to CS Global Offensive. The squad had stuck together throughout this entire CS 1.6 era. They never changed their lineups and the only change they ever did was when Luke retired. They stuck together through thick and thin even when they were bouncing around from one organization to the next. At the start of the CSGO era, Kubin and Lord hung up the mouse. Snacks and Bialy came in to fill their shoes. They struggled to get a grip on the game at the very beginning, but once they got into the groove, they showed the world how dominant they can really be. Not making any noise, and Starix is still not moving. He's just gonna take the information though. Oh, it's gonna be the great angle from Bialy. Comes around the corner, and there it is. He makes it happen. 4 to 11. Unfortunate. Oh, so That's gonna unlucky. be a two on two situation, and now way up close to the doors. Oh, it's gonna be a one on one. Oh, Snags one -on -one. versus Starry. So, one on one. 20 seconds left. And is he gonna go for it? He must be Starry's there. He gets the headshot. And there it is. Whoa. It's gonna be 18 to 6. After a short stint with Universal Soldiers, they were picked up by Virtus Pro on the 25th January 2014. Just two months later, in March, they won the EMS-1 Katowice, their first ever major win, in front of their home crowd. His initials were immortalized by Zavi. The FK line of gaming mice is named after his initials, and he worked in cooperation with Zavi to create it. In May 2016, Virtus Pro placed first at the Starladder I League Invitational 1 LAN Finals. All the way through the upper bracket, very convincing style. Snacks lags up one, he closes it out, Flamey's gone, and Virtus Pro are your champions of Starladder I Series Season 1. And subsequently, two more large events the E League Season 1. It's going to be it, ladies and gentlemen, Virtus Pro with 16 rounds. They are your E League Season 1 Grand Champions. And Dreamhack Bucharest. Tim remaining and he's on his 16, he's gone. Virtus Pro, your Dreamhack Open Champion. Though as a team they struggled to find consistency in terms of winning tournaments, we can still say for sure that they found a place in the hearts of their fans as they were some of the oldest players who were still actively playing CS and giving younger blood a run for their money. You can find a detailed story of BP's CSGO history in another video on our channel. Neo played under the VP banner for 5 years. The team went through great moments together, rising and falling, only to rise again. In all the teams that Neo has served, you'll notice that they don't really change their rosters much and they treat each other like family. Maybe that's what makes him such a great person. He is always humble. Recently after the VP roster disbanded, People realized how great Neo's contribution has been to the CS community. But even at 31 years of age, and even after his long standing lineup disbanded, Neo is hungry for more. He is still open to offers, both inside the server and outside it. Will he return as a player? Or will he return as a coach? We still don't know. But what we do know is that one of the greatest players of all time is not done yet. Subscribe for more CSGO content and don't forget to click the bell icon to never miss another update. Thanks for watching and we will see you next time. I'm coming home.